Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So earlier this week, Microsoft rolled out the latest Windows 11 optional bug fix C release update for the month of June. And we are still expecting, though, the optional bug fix update to roll out for Windows 10, as Windows 10 hasn't received its June C release update yet. And that's because Microsoft is still finalizing the Windows 10 update, um, which will be rolling out to the stable channel soon, which will be KB5014666. And that's currently being finalized in the release preview channel in the Insider program. And um, we are expecting to see that roll out um, in the next couple of days, and it will be released to the stable version soon. Now, um, the update, when it does roll out, will have a couple of new add-ons, and then also a fix for the Cloud Clipboard Service Sync, and then because it is a bug fix update, um, we will get those improvements and numerous bug fixes. So if we just head to the, um, the release preview channel release notes, that um, were published on the 24th of June, which was yesterday in my region. Um, the update currently been finalized in the release preview channel, as mentioned, is KB5014666. And that will take, uh, take that takes the Windows 10 build now to 19044.1806. So currently, uh, Windows 10 version 21H2 is sitting at build 19044.1766. So when this update does roll out to the stable version, um, we can expect that build to be 19044.1806, but it won't be exactly 1806. It will differ slightly, but we can expect it to start with 18, and then it'll go into um, some other digits. Now, um, just to take a look at the release notes currently available in the release preview channel, and in case you are unaware, the release preview channel is the closest version and build you will get before it actually rolls out to the stable channel and version. So there are one, two, three new add-ons and features. The uh, first two rolled out with the Windows 11 um, optional update that rolled out earlier this week. So those have also been made available to Windows 10. And they fixed an issue that fails to log the source IP address and machine name for a remote PowerShell connection. So that's a new add-on. They also add server message block redirector specific public file system control. And then there's a couple of print and scan features that have been introduced now with this latest update 5014666. And just to mention those quickly, there's um, RPP over USB support. So um, they are now expanding the RPP support to USB printers and print support app APRs. And then also pin protected printing for RPP and universal print. And the standard print dialogs now include a user interface to enter a PIN code. And then we get the ESCL Mopria scan protocol. And this can be used with Mopria certified scanner devices. So those are the new add-ons. And then just to look at the, just at a couple of the highlights um, for the improvements and bug fixes. Um, this is the one I mentioned. They fixed an issue that affects the cloud clipboard service and prevents syncing between machines after a period of inactivity. And that also was made available for Windows 11. Uh, they fixed an issue that prevents the uh, Pash2 language from appearing in the language list. And then they also fixed an issue that affects the touchpad area, area that responds to a right click. And that's the right click zone that's also been fixed for uh, touch screen and touchpad devices. And then they've fixed an issue that leads to a false negative when you run scripts while Windows Defender application control is turned on. And I think that's more or less the key highlights. And as mentioned, this update is going to be rolling out um, to the stable channel and version of Windows 10 um, in the next couple of days, which will be update KB5014666 as mentioned. And that will be this month's optional bug fix C release update for Windows 10. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.